I've met one or two of you before, I believe. I'm going to uh, forego the uh, rundown of the programmatic environmental impact uh, statement uh, analysis uh, for right now and send it in by snail mail to the address given because my comments are quite extensive and some of them have already been given here. Sort of surprising how uh, sometimes uh, common sentiments seem to flow through a group. I've been on the Columbia River for more than 75 years. I knew the river before there were any dams on it, before Bonneville Dam, even, the first one. I have known the river for a long time. Of course, uh, we're talking now about a programmatic thing that doesn't really speak about any specific sites. It could be anywhere in the United States, could be anywhere all over. So it, it's sort of a scattershot thing, and maybe there are people from other places that have a very special thing in their hearts about uh, a site that will be considered where they may dig some ditches to bury some highly <laughs> active uh, uh, fuel uh, waste for oh, just for a few years, maybe a uh, hundred thousand or so. But uh, while I've been on the Columbia River, I have watched it go through a lot of different uh, different things. I was here before. Uh, before the Hanford Nuclear Reservation was built. I was here when it was, I was here when it was just a wild um, sagebrush covered area where, where the uh, napweed didn't glow in the dark. <laughs> I, uh, I have seen, uh, I, well I was living downwind from it for a while in the uh, 50s and um, I've, in uh, recent years, I've traveled up and down the river um, hundreds of times from Astoria all the way up to the mouth of the Snake and up the Snake to into Hell's Canyon hundreds of times. I met man on the cruise ship who tells people what they're looking at. Um, I'm a National Geographic representative with uh, Lindblad Expeditions cruising up and down the river. And you know one of the questions that the people on those cruise ships keeps asking time after time is how are you doing? How's the progress going for the cleanup at Hanford? And my response reluctantly is that it's moving more slowly. But what am I to tell them? If it should be, well, we've sort of forgotten about that, and what we can do now is uh, just store more waste there until a later date when we're not really sure what will happen. I hope I never have to say that. Thank you.